Let's talk about old mate Biden. Um, I did love the look on the White House press secretary's face, as uh, you pointed out, uh, when she was told directly just how unpopular her boss is. Uh, majority of Democrats don't want the president uh, uh, to seek re-election. They, uh, they're looking for a new generation of concerns about his age. Um, without getting into whether or not the president will, uh, will, will announce, does the president believe that he has to address those concerns from his own constituents? So, um, as you just laid out, I'm going to be very careful, covered by the House. Act, don't want to get into uh, the specifics of what 2024 is going to look like. But I thought that speech changed everything, Dave. I thought the State of the Union was the Great Reset. I would like to congratulate Joe Biden for that hour and a half when they drugged him properly and he was able to do that. But the bar is so low with him that that, in essence, is all he has to do. It doesn't matter what he said. Half the stuff he said was Trump re retread America First stuff from a couple of years ago, and then the other half is kind of woke nonsense, and it doesn't really make any sort of cohesive sense. But the bar has been pushed to the point that if the man gets up there, if his eyeball doesn't explode, and you know his teeth don't fall out, then everyone's like, well, okay, we got through the day. So I was not very impressed, obviously. And if the best we can do is roll out an 81-year-old, and you know we're excited because he didn't pass out, well, all right. Also, uh, let's talk here about the balloon. Can we both agree? The alien thing is rubbish, right? The alien thing is garbage. Why people are talking about it? Charlie Kirk said the weirdest thing the other day, that it was a false flag operation so everyone can go back down into lockdown. It's not aliens. Could this all just be a false flag operation to fake an alien invasion or fake a UFO hysteria crisis to try to justify more power lockdowns control? These are all rational questions listen i watched war of the worlds this past weekend with tom cruise i've seen it a million times and and i think when the aliens going to come it's going to be a little bit more like that there's going to be big machines mass death there isn't going to be this slow motion oh here's a balloon first we'll see in a couple weeks kind of thing uh, that is not to defend the chinese who did at least send well, well we know for sure one was traversing all of the United States, and it sounds like there were a couple others, and now maybe some other UFOs, which doesn't mean alien craft, it just means unidentified flying object. Uh, but no, I don't think these are aliens. This Disney cartoon, and we talked about it last week, this super over the top, super woke, super carry on thing. Oh, you understand love, don't you? No, no, I do not understand anything about white fragility. White fragility? What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. You're doing it right now. Doing what? Being defensive about race. Robert D'Angelo wrote a whole book about it. But isn't it interesting, as you pointed out, when Disney had a Super Bowl ad, it was all old school Disney. It was all love and cuddles and princesses. There was nothing woke there. And they had a whole minute to celebrate a hundred years of Disney. Yeah, it's really fascinating. So for folks that, that don't know the full story on this, they, you know, they're putting out all this crazy woke programming now about, about Black Lives Matter. And then they put during the Super Bowl, it's about 10 million bucks for a minute commercial. Uh, they decided to put, you know, you know, the hundred years of Disney of what they've been doing. And there's none of the woke stuff. It's all the stuff that we used to love. Mickey Mouse and Cinderella and Pinocchio and Peter Pan, et cetera, et cetera. There's none of that stuff. And that really shows you that actually the guy who we've mentioned a couple times here, Ron DeSantis, what he's done here in Florida by fighting Disney worked because they are now trying to rebrand as old Disney. So clearly they are trying to disconnect the woke stuff that is now, you know, people say Disney, you think about all the crazy woke stuff and the gender stuff. They're trying to get your, your neurons to fire and go, oh, no, 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 we're talking about, again, you know, Cinderella, Peter Pan, et cetera. Just finally, do you care that Harry and Meghan are going to the coronation? Meghan is basically destroying the monarchy, and, and that just goes to show that when the woke get into anything, any system, whether it's a monarchy or a government or Disney or whatever it might be, they are extremely effective at destroying the system. They are the virus, and if we could just have a little lockdown of the woke just to get rid of it, then that would be <laughs> fine. Let's, let's follow that science. Dave, lovely to talk to you. We'll see you again next week. Good to see you, my friend.